Welcome to the prayer for healing and deliverance from sickness and disease. This is a prayer I put together where I'd like to pray for anyone within the sound of my voice. All I ask you to do is to agree with me as I pray, and together we will seek our Heavenly Father. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we gather together and come into agreement in the wonderful and powerful name of Jesus Christ. Where two or more are gathered, there you'll be in the midst of us, and anything we agree upon is touching, you will surely do. Father, in Jesus' name, there's no distance in the Spirit, and we thank you for the person I'm praying for who desires a prayer for healing and deliverance from sickness and disease. Father, we thank you for the price Jesus paid on the cross for them. According to Exodus chapter 15, verse 26, you said one of your redemptive names is Jehovah Rapha, the Lord who heals. According to 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24, Matthew chapter 8, verses 16 to 17, Isaiah chapter 53, verses 4 to 5, and many more scriptures, healing belongs to them if they believe. We ask you to grant them more wisdom, revelation, and understanding about healing. We ask you to teach them more about the healing gifts of the Holy Spirit. Show and teach them how the gift of healing and the working of miracles operates today. Lord, we call on your healing mercy right now for them. You are good to all who call upon you and will never turn them away. Your mercies are new every morning. Together in agreement, we speak to any sickness and disease and all oppression of any evil spirit and bind you in Jesus' name. We curse you and command you to loose the person I'm praying for right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we plead the blood over every area of their body and their mind and call them restored, protected, and set free in Christ. We ask for a supernatural healing miracle in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We decree and declare that by the stripes of Jesus, they are healed and made whole according to your word. We decree and declare that in the Spirit, through agreement, we have laid our hands on the sick, and your word in Mark chapter 16, verses 17 to 18, says, They shall recover. Holy Spirit, according to Romans chapter 8, verse 11, thank you for quickening their mortal body. Praise you, Father, for healing. Thank you for your cleansing power flowing through them right now. According to Hebrews chapter 6, verse 12, through faith and patience, your promises, which include healing, come to pass. Help them to not grow faint and weary, but to continue to trust and praise you, Lord. Strengthen them now to hold their ground, believing in your love and your faithfulness, for you are not only able, but according to Luke chapter 5, verse 13, you are always willing to cleanse and to heal. Father, use them as a vessel for your healing, your deliverance, and your freedom in Christ for the sick who are led to them. The mighty Holy Spirit resides in them, and with Him are all of His gifts, including the gift of healing and the working of miracles. Father, they grab hold of your truth that you want your healing power to operate not only in their body and their mind, but through them into the lives of others. As they received healing, so shall they give it. They too are to be part of the continuation of the ministry of Jesus, bringing healing, deliverance, and freedom to those who need it. Lord, they are a conduit through which your divine power operates and flows to heal and deliver those who come to them. They will yield to you and follow the instructions of your word to lay their hands on the sick, fully expecting you to cause them to recover. They will use their own voice, as you instruct in your word, to release your authority and command all sickness and disease to go. As we said at the beginning of this prayer, we will say it again. Jesus Christ paid the price in full for healing and deliverance for those who believe. The person I'm praying for expects to see healing results in their life through genuine faith in Christ and patience, and their testimony of deliverance and freedom will be to your glory and honor. Let the Lord be magnified. We believe and receive everything we've prayed and give you glory in advance, for this prayer is answered. In the wonderful, 
and precious name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Thank you for praying with me. This is Daniel, the creator of Daily Effective Prayer. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and share it with others if you haven't already. God richly bless you.